In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a score to a simple ball game. Open the file from the previous tutorial where we added logic bricks to the board to rotate it. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Change the layout to default and in the view menu, toggle quad view. Add mesh cylinder. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the cylinder into the five hole. I'm going to round the Y value up to six and I'm going to set the Z value to minus one and enter. When the ball goes through the cylinder, I want the score to increase by five. But at the moment, if I rotate the board, the cylinder doesn't move with it. To make the cylinder move with the board, I'm going to select it and set its parent to be the board. But the cylinder seems to have disappeared. It hasn't. We can see it in the perspective view, but it has inherited scale from the board. So I'm going to delete the board as its parent and it comes back to normal. If I select the board, we can see its scale values. In the object menu, if I apply the scale, they are reset. Now if I select the cylinder and set its parent to be the board, and select the board and press R to rotate, the cylinder moves with the board. Change the layout to game logic. Now I need to add a property called score to one of the objects in the scene. I could add it to the board for instance, but I like to add a dummy object and attach the main game properties to it. So I'm going to add an empty, which is a dummy object, and use the tip of the red arrow to move that to the side, click its object properties, and I'm going to name it game as it's going to store the main game properties. Open up the properties panel by clicking view properties, or click the plus at the side of the screen, click the add game property button, call the new property score, and change its type to integer. We want an initial value of zero. Click to turn display in debug area and for that to work we have to tick show debug properties. Select the cylinder, drag to close the properties panel, zoom in with the mouse wheel and I'm dragging to make the logic editing window slightly wider. Now I want to detect when the ball goes through the cylinder there's a touch sensor, a near sensor, a collision sensor, but I don't want the ball to collide with the cylinder, I want it to go through, so I'm going to use a near sensor, and that will detect when any object gets within a distance of one blender unit from the center of the cylinder. Add an AND controller. Now it would be nice to use a property actuator to add five to the property score, but score belongs to the empty object and we can only access properties of the cylinder object so we can't use a property actuator, we have to use a message actuator and we'll put as the subject of the message add 5. Connect the logic bricks up. When the ball goes through the cylinder the message will be broadcast. Click the Physics Properties button and set the Physics type to No Collision and click the Invisible button so that the cylinder will be invisible when we run the game engine. Select the empty object, add a message sensor. This will listen for a message the subject of which is Add 5. It will then send a signal through an AND controller to a property actuator that will add 5 to the property score. Connect those up. Click the render button. Start the game engine. If I tilt the board forward so that the ball goes through the 5 hole, we get a score of 5. Change the layout to the default layout. 
I'm going to duplicate the cylinder to fill the other holes. Hold down shift, press D and enter. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the duplicate across and use the tip of the green arrow to move it forwards. I'm going to round off the values, the X value 6.5 and the Y value the same, 6.5 and enter. Hold down shift, press D and enter to duplicate it again. And now all we have to do is put a minus sign in front of the X location change the layout to game logic. All we have to do is change the subject of the message actuator to add 10. I need to select the other cylinder. I'm going to use the outliner window. The cylinders are the children of the board so I have to click the plus next to the board. Now I can select the cylinder and change the subject of the message actuator to add 10. Select the empty we need to add a message sensor, listening for the message, add 10. We need an AND controller and a property actuator. And the property actuator needs to add 10 to the property score. Connect those up. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.